So Google recently revealed the Pixel Buds 2a, and while everyone's talking about, you know, the active noise cancellation and the new AI features, I think there's actually something way more important hiding in plain sight. For the first time ever in a Pixel Buds product, you can actually replace the charging case battery yourself. And that's kind of a big deal because honestly, it's about damn time. In case you weren't aware, we are drowning in earbud e-waste. I mean, the numbers are pretty alarming. Like just in the second quarter of 2024, there were 77 million true wireless earbuds sold. And that growth is projected to reach over a billion units sold annually by 2030. And when these little buggers die, and they will die, unfortunately only about 5% of them actually get recycled. The rest, well, unfortunately most of the time they just end up in landfills. And even when they do get, you know, recycled, only about 22% of global e-waste actually gets processed properly according to some research studies. The rest, well, it just gets shipped abroad where it's often dumped or processed in ways that end up poisoning waterways and local communities. It's really, like, it, it's just, it's an unfortunate predicament that really should make us question the notion of technological progress. Because while wireless connectivity provides a lot of convenience, I mean the wired earbuds and headphones that we had before, those could easily last 10 years or more with proper care. I mean heck, your old Sony headphones from the 90s are probably still working fine. But nowadays, unfortunately, it's pretty normal for people to replace their wireless audio products every two to three years, and that's a large part because of the batteries. I mean, we asked you guys on soundguys.com, you know, what kills your earbuds first? And 43% of you said it was battery degradation. Not damage, not loss, just dead batteries in products you can't fix with parts that you can't replace. So I mean, really in short, the reality is that every time you recharge your earbuds, you're gonna get less listening time, right? So earbuds that can play maybe five hours of music when you first bought them can now maybe only play an, an hour of playback after a couple years of usage. And eventually those won't be able to hold a charge at all. And in most cases, you can't swap out the battery, right? They are glued inside and getting to that battery effectively destroys whatever parts you're hoping to salvage. Now companies do this for a reason and it's not exactly a sinister one, right? They're really just trying to make earbuds as small as possible. I mean, when you're cramming a Bluetooth chip, a processor, an antenna, battery, drivers, controls, microphones, all of that into something the size of a thimble, every millimeter counts, right? So replaceable battery components need more space, and in a market where smaller size actually does matter, nobody wants the earbuds to flop because they're too bulky and too uncomfortable to wear. But I do believe that batteries can be better. For instance, outlets such as iFixit have torn apart a bunch of popular earbuds, and they found that many of them could probably be made with repairable parts with just a few minor design changes. Oftentimes, the only real thing preventing battery replacement is honestly just the type of glue they use. You could really just switch out that glue for, you know, some battery clips or some different kind of soldier. It's not a technical impossibility, it's just an intentional design choice that companies need to start making. So for that reason, it's really nice to see that Google has has taken a step in the right direction by putting little screws at the bottom of the case that you can easily, you know, unscrew those, pop those out, slide out the interior, and then find a replaceable battery with a convenient pull tab that only takes about, you know, five minutes total to switch out and swap the battery. Now there is a big caveat to the Pixel Bud 2a's replaceable battery, and that is that it is only the case battery that is replaceable. Unfortunately, the earbuds themselves are still sealed up tight, which honestly kind of sucks since once those little buggers stop holding a charge, I mean, it doesn't matter how repairable the case is, you're gonna have to throw the whole thing out anyway. But hey, I mean, even if it's only halfway there, it is still progress. And to Google's credit, they have actually committed to selling replacement batteries for five years after the Pixel Buds 2a reached their end of life cycle. So that actually is pretty decent if your earbuds hold out for that long. But personally, I want to stay positive, and I think it is a promising start, even if Google is only halfway there. I mean, really though, in reality, for, you know, the gold example for how this should be done, there's really no better example than the Fairphone Fairbuds. These little bad boys, they let you replace both the battery inside the case and the earbuds themselves. You can see on the back of the case, there's a screw to remove it, and the case is transparent. You might be able to pick it up on camera here. You can see the battery through that, and it says changes in your hands. On the earbuds themselves, you can also see how this little tab easily folds out, and you can find the little mini battery right inside there. Easily swap it out. Theoretically, these earbuds can last forever. 
That is amazing. And I mean, yeah, there is the trade-off that, you know, these are a lot bulkier than, say, like, your average AirPods. And heck, I mean, they sure as heck don't sound as good as AirPods either. I mean, you can check out our full review to see all the measurements and MDAX results for yourself. But yeah, unfortunately, the sound quality on these guys is just not great. So what I would really like to see is to see companies that make good sounding earbuds, you know, like your Apples, your Sonys, your Sennheisers, your Googles, and to look at what Fairphone has done and to say, you know, like, hey, we can do that and we can make it repairable and make something that sounds incredible, right? The technology exists, right? Fairphone has proved it works, Google's followed suit, and now we need to start seeing more audio companies stop making excuses and start making earbuds that don't force us to choose between great sound and repairability. So credit where credit's due, props to the Pixel Buds 2A for making some progress, but I do wanna see more. And I think all wireless earbuds really should have user replaceable batteries. If you agree, feel free to leave a comment or participate in our poll on the community page, because I'm curious to see just how much consumer demand there is for features like repairability, because really aside from consumer demand, the only legal pressure on companies has come from the European Union. In case you didn't hear, the EU finally forced companies like Apple to finally adopt US BC, and they're going to require all smartphones to have replaceable batteries by the end of 2027. And here's actually a bit of breaking news that we just got out of IFA 2025 that shows that some companies are already starting to get ahead of this. JLab just announced that they are wanting to become one of the first major audio brands to implement full battery replacement for both headphones and earbuds that will be shipping in 2026 next year. So that's a full year ahead of the EU mandate even kicks in. So that's really Really great to see companies like JLab getting a head start, making sure all their audio products have replaceable battery components. So apparently they're going to use a universal coil cell batteries for earbuds and then soft pack batteries for headphones and the cases, very similar to the system that Fairphone has implemented. And it's all gonna be designed to be easy at home replacement. We don't know anything more about the exact models yet that are coming out next year, but it's still great to see a brand taking action before they're legally forced to do so. Often these brands are, you know, dragged kicking and screaming to be more eco-friendly and repairable, but it's nice to see some companies taking proactive action and actually listening to the consumer demand and the eco e-waste crisis we find ourselves in. In the meantime, if you want to extend your earbuds life while we're still waiting, you know, for more manufacturers to get their act together, here are some things you could try. Number one, do not leave your earbuds or headphones in hot cars out in the sun or in cold storage for that matter out in the snow. Hot and cold temperatures tend to cause batteries to wear out faster, which will kill their overall life expectancy. Also, be sure to check if your earbuds have a power saving mode. Now, while this feature is fairly common for smartphones, it is unfortunately more scarce when it comes to earbuds and headphones. But if your device does support it, do check the app, do check the settings, because limiting the battery capacity to 80% will really help extend its lifespan. But aside from that, if you are interested in learning more about what is currently the only fully replaceable pair of earbuds on the market right now, and if repairability is a factor that matters to you more than maybe say having the absolute best sound quality, then hey, go check out our video of our full review of the Fairbuds right over here.